over the globe for nearly a decade. A pioneer in the world of CAW. We are SCAW, superstars of CAW. Cole McGrath. Glad you could join us wherever in the universe you are watching. The universe that found a wrestling champion that lasted less than 24 hours. That's the kind of universe we live in. Seriously, I must have just retired the title. Fail. A really. Let's not discuss it. Well, Magneto set to compete in this tournament. He's competed in several of these tournaments. Mixed success. He won a 0-1 title once in this tournament. Back in 2010. Excuse me, 2012. Debuted. In fact, earlier that year, he debuted on Superstar Clash '99. The man he lost out to in the Choose the Superstar Game King debuted the following week. Superstar Clash 100. Paul McGrath we saw him for the first time at Day of Destiny in the match of Destiny. He got his first win at Summer Brawl when he defeated Piccolo. Yeah, that's a match that happened on the actual card. Well, this is an actual tournament match. The winner of this match will face the winner of the match between Jin Kazuma and John Luke Picard. That will come only at the end of this week. And for a tenth spot. The next round of the SCW tournament will be decided here. Who will face the winner of this match? The winner of the net, the match between Jid Kazma and John Luke Picard. That one will be for the zero one title. Pancake slam. It's flapjack, and so I couldn't think of the move. That would be the generic title name for it. The pancake slam. If they ever couldn't get the rights to the flapjack for some dumb reason. Hey, we, they've called Goldberg's jackhammer the suplex hammer. We couldn't call it a jackhammer? Is there like a copyright infringement there? There's an atomic drop. There's a slap by Magneto. He's been a 0-1 champ. He's been tag team champ. But, oh, what a move by Cole McGrath. Imagine what he could do if he gets far in this tournament. He drops. Magneto down and oh he went to the outside and that uh he was prepared for that dive he was able to avoid it. Uh oh, wait, what's he gonna do here? I thought maybe he's gonna do the days of future shock on the floor. Instead it's the pancake slam on the floor. I'm calling it the pancake slam now. Cause I can do things like that. 
You gonna contradict me? Uh, you can't talk back to me. That's not how it works on the internet. In the video. And I don't mean to get technical. Oh, oh we got a small package. Technical small package. Oh, he reversed it. And he reversed it back. And he didn't keep doing it. Um, how many times? It was like six. It was like four or five times they did that. Takes him down again. And now what's he gonna do? The neck breaker. The crowd pop for the neck breaker for some reason. Is there a fight in the crowd? Chop block there. Now let's roll up. The roll up here and oh, he countered it. Look at that! How did you know? Well, I thought he had it there. Macoma Graf is. I, I that was so close. The referee, I think, seems to think he got the shoulder up on that. Well, we're moving on here. He's trying to do something with the hands. The full Nelson. But, oh! What, my goodness! We lifted him up and then just uppercutted him. A double Dragon. A double Dragon 2 and you did that hyper uppercut. He did a belly to belly there, but he was in the ropes. And, oh, suplex. Into a one count. Okay. Now McGrath. Oh, another belly to belly. And the eye rake, magnetic eye rake there. Wait, wait, hold on. Maybe going for days of future shock. No back body drop. Oh, and that time he caught him on the outside dive. How many times have we lost a table during a tournament? I don't know. I've lost track. Do I count the time the Erlacher putting Ghost right to the table after the match? Does that count also? What are these referees? And oh, he suplexed him into the steps. And the ref's up to seven. He may be done. Oh, he's up. Why is he up? That was brutal. And he got up from it. We're back in the ring now. And oh, knee right to the gut after he had him like in a fireman's carry. And then now he's going for the magnetic hold. And he's got it on. He's got it on. And oh, he missed. Sorcely stuck a foot under the bottom rope. I mean, it was just convenience. Coincidental. But nonetheless, he got a break there. He was fortunate enough to get use the ropes to get out of the hold. I'm talking too much about that. Gotta move on. And I rank again. It's like the second time he's done that. And now the I rank the shockwave. He got the shockwave. That's it right there. Two. Oh, no. Kicked out. Remember, he did use the shockwave to win his first SCW match. It was against King. And a knee to the back. An elbow drop. Oh, oh, that's like a move you see in a, in a fighting game, not a wrestling game. Right now, Cole McGrath has the upper hand on Magneto. Now he's going for a calf crusher. We finally have a name for that move, right? That's sort of like the calf crusher. Call it leg hold. Now there's a magnetic hold. He's got it on here. 
And now he might not be able to get. His feet are close. His feet are. Re oh no, now they're moving away. You can just stretch those feet. Look how close they are. I don't even think he realizes it. And he may be going out. Or the opposite. He may be powering out. Oh! But McNeil gets behind him again, though. A lot of strength to get him in. I can try it. A full Nelson lock. That's not worth it. It's never beat anybody. And now, a front face lock here. He, he doesn't know what to do. He goes to the top. Boy, man, well, that was a bad drop kick there. Elbowed in the back. There's a suplex. Trying to figure out what he should do next. He gets behind him. Oh, wait, wait, he's going for something that didn't work. It's a neck breaker, though. He falls right up. And there it is! The future shock! He got it! That's it! The leg, and this one is... No! Oh, he kicked out! He kicked out! I couldn't believe that! Shoved him off there! He's coming back here! Sidewalk slam! And he's sitting in the corner. Oh, shoulder first! Into the steel! The ring post! Now, he comes right back with a suplex. But, Days of Future Shock, he's going to try it again. But it's countered. Countered it. We countered it. Days of Future Shock into the Ionic Vortex. He hit the Ionic Vortex. He gets a three. He wins. Oh, what a matchup! And Cole McGrath picks up the victory in his first SCW tournament. He wins his first tournament match and is on to the next round. Counter that. Days at Future Shock hit the Ionic Vortex and is your winner. Celebrates the victory here. We'll go back. Look at a replay. Look at this. Man to counter the days of future shock by reversed out of it and then hit. Calls this the ionic vortex. The character look, the leg gets the win and advances to the next round. Be sure to join us for our next match, the Angry Video Game Nerd. He will face Piccolo. And fighting for a spot in the next round. Be sure to join us for that. I am Lone Star. We'll see you next time.